Well, the trees, water, and now some sunshine are all part of the scene on Lake Coeur Lane by the North Idaho College. But a piece of that picture could change over the next few years because the Army Corps of Engineers wants trees along the Dyke Road removed for flooding safety. KXLY 4's Anusha Roy has our story. And Anusha, when did this all unfold? Well, it's actually a pretty recent development. The city first found out about this problem in March. The Army Corps of Engineers wants thousands of uh, feet of trees further down Dyke Road removed because they want to make sure that the dike here is stable. The Nessies walk along Dyke Road almost every day. I, there's, I have two favorite trees <laughs> over there. They enjoy the scene like so many others, and that includes the trees. The trees allow really nice shade. But the Army Corps of Engineers wants some of those trees gone, saying it compromises dike safety. Tree roots allow water to go along the route and create a pathway. And if it falls over, the soil goes too and it would compromise stability. You want to leave a tree standing and take a chance that you're going to breach a dike and endanger people's lives and property? I think that's a pretty obvious answer. So. In two years, the city has to clear out trees from Lakeshore Drive and Hubbard Street to River Avenue. If it doesn't follow regulations, the Corps says the city could lose eligibility for flood assistance. I can see the conflict, but I think they should save some of the trees in particular because they are just so beautiful. The Corps of Engineers periodically checks in on dike safety. It was using a Seattle standard, which is a little bit more flexible, but an independent consultant came in this time and had a different conclusion. Now the city is faced with a tough situation. You look at these, you know, 200 year old trees and they're magnificent and you think, why am I doing this again? The Corps also mentions ever since Katrina, it's voicing more concern about dike safety. We have a multi-million dollar college right there and if something goes wrong those take a big hit so some residents say they've seen the trees survive some tough weather and removing them is not the right answer it seems unnecessary to remo remove these beautiful trees mm -hmm. just because they feel it's a danger which i don't feel it is now, as you can tell, the opinions vary about this issue. The dike is built to survive a 100-year flood event or a very severe flood event. The city is working on bringing forward a plan to the Public Works Committee as well as planning on talking to the residents. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Roy, KXLY4, HD News.